What's up guys, Scott Nichols with Sick Boat Creative Studios here today and I'm gonna walk you through our 8K PNG split screen film mats sourced from the most prominent film aspect ratios. These simple to use split screen film mat overlays are the perfect artistic touch to split your single scene into a dynamic layout, allowing you to display multiple shots and perspectives into a single frame, no matter the medium. This pack is compatible with all major photo and video editing software from Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, and more. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use these in Premiere Pro, and every concept is applicable to any of the other software that you are using. So let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. So let's get started. When you download and unzip the pack, it's gonna come with three folders organized into a clean, a dirty, and a dirtiest option. And each one is mirrored. You get 30 split screen film mats within each folder and we broke it up into these three folders to give you the best optionality and customization for the look that you're going for. And so for this example, I'm gonna use the Film Mat 6. Again, these are in 8K, so as soon as you drag and drop it, scale it down to your comp width, that's it. These are pre-keyed out PNG overlays, so as soon as you drag and drop it on top of your image, your image is gonna come through. Moving that up a few layers. So with this film mat number six, we got three windows. So we'll just drag in three video clips, and it's as simple as just playing with your positioning and scale. I like the way that actually the frame is with this guy's face. So you just come in here, you, you center the clip within the frame that you want it to be in, and then you can go into your opacity and you can click on your pen tool. You can just go in and draw a mask around that clip. And then you can go ahead and do that again for your other clip. Scale that down, move that over. Let's scale down our third clip. And let's just kind of make sure, trim it all up. Yeah, and so there you go. I think it's that simple. Drag, drop, you play with your cropping, your positioning, and your scale. It's a great way to really kind of spice up your commercials if you have a montage that you're working on or if you have multiple characters interacting with each other. Just adds a little bit more of that kind of visual interest in your project. And then I think once you kind of have your images in the frames, you can continue to add any other type of film burns or you wanna add some grain, you wanna change the color of any one of these frames. If you wanna overlap them, you can. You have near unlimited options. And that's what's so great about it is you can really customize it however you want. A little editing technique that we used in the trailer was we kind of staggered these in the timeline. So you can stagger it on the front end and the back end and you can easily move these around however you want like that. Let's just make this a little bit longer so it fits the clip. Yeah, so that's just kind of a fun way that they can be used. And lastly, these are great for social media as well because you can simply flip these mats 90 degrees and go vertical. Let's create a new sequence. And then we'll change the sequence settings to be a vertical. So let's do 1080 by 1920. And then we will grab a, another mat. Perfect, we'll do two windows just for this example. And then obviously, again, just scale down appropriately. So scale it down and then change your rotation to 90 degrees. And you can go ahead and just repeat the exact same steps. Let's grab two clips from our previous example, drop them in and simply change the position, scale and mask. So for the first clip, scale that down change the position, make sure it's within the frame. And same thing with our bottom clip. Now 
and then there we go we have an option in the vertical format so yeah that's a great way to use these for your social media videos and add some visual intrigue so have fun with this guys we recommend checking out the photo film frames pack in addition to this it's a great complimentary pack for your asset library it has everything from kodak 35 millimeter film frames in there to medium format 120 to polaroid film frames that you can easily drag and drop and then a bunch of other film photo textures to play with. So thank you so much for watching this. If you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. And we'll catch you in the next one.